Now, uh... I'm getting ready to get a couple more scriptures and I'm going to let it be. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 1 and verse... Nineteen, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. The mouth of the mouth of Yahweh has spoken. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel? Now if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? And these men that are posted up, as your artists and your rappers are clearly ungodly. This is Zephaniah. Chapter 1 and verse 8. I'm going to start up some Ze Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 2. It reads, I will utterly consume everything from the face of the land, says Yahweh. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the birds of heavens, of the heavens, the fish of the sea. We're seeing this take place. And the stumbling blocks along with the wicked. I will cut off man from the face of the land, says Yahweh. I will stretch out my hand against Judah and against the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Now, this is what it's speaking of when our Lord tells us he shall stretch out his hand against Judah and against the inhabitants of Jerusalem. He's talking about the wicked of his people. You know, all of your, your rappers and your athletes. You look at what's happening with the drugs, you know, going on in these Central and Southern American countries. All the witchcraft that's taking place. I will stretch out my hand against Judah and against the inhabitants of Jerusalem. I will cut off every trace of Baal, or false power, demons, from its place. The names of the idolatrous priest, the names of the idolatrous priest, with the pagan priest. Now, this might not come in the form of somebody with the, you know, with literature in their hand. It could come in the form of a rapper or an athlete, but it's somebody who's coming in the energy of worshiping idols. And simply the, the, this, the spirit that they're coming in, which is you, you see it oozing off of them, whatever they say, you know, whatever they say to influence people, that's their philosophy. Those who worship the host of heaven on the housetops, those who worship and swear oaths by the Lord, but also swear by Malcolm. Now, what did that nigga say in the, in the interview when, uh... He was talking about the lives that were lost. This nigga said, uh, and we know he wasn't he wasn't being literal literal because you could see the, the, the sarcastic motherfucker with the smirk on his face. Like I said, I'm not I try not to get heated about this situation because I don't want to put that energy out there and I don't want to give energy to the situation. But these niggas gotta go.
You could see the smirk on this nigga's face. I'm not gonna play the whole thing. And I'm not gonna put the link in my video either. But, uh... I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll just put a response to this video. First off, this nigga's rubbing his forehead. Look at him. If this shit isn't obvious to you, I don't know what to tell you. But these are the niggas who people look up to. And you could see his little, little wristband. That's symbolism. Huh, I'm gonna get the volume. Let me hurry up and get to uh nope. No, bear with me a second. Like, nigga, what are you doing? The fuck type of shit is that? Right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. Bitch ass nigga, bro. The fuck? You don't care about those. You don't care about the people. You could tell the nigga was damn near. Uh, you could tell he probably laughed when he got off the video. You could tell somebody was probably sitting on the side watching. Probably joking and shit about it. But, uh. Like I said, I try not to give energy to situations like that. But the nigga was looking at a woman. The, the nigga was looking at a young lady passed out in front of him. At the concert. So imagine, you know, you speaking and then somebody just passes out in front of you and you just keep speaking. You're not going to go attend to that person. So we could see the nigga doesn't care. Then you're going to come out after with some weird ass, weird ass, uh, weird ass video. And don't nobody want to hear that shit. We waiting for the Lord to, to return to destroy your ass. And we could see the nigga probably ain't going to repent. If he does, he's not going to be sincere because he already made a music video called Stop Trying to Be God. And there's many other artists who, uh, there's many other artists who post shit like this. Boom, there you go. All caps, all caps, 74 million. This is who people reverence. This is who people... Look up to, so to speak. That nigga's gonna lead a lot of people, or he already has led a lot of people down the wrong path. And this is why our Lord tells us, if the if the godly shall scarcely be saved, because this is, you know, that's the music that you, that you, you know, you go out to ride your bike or something. That's the music you hear bumping in the streets. And they know that Jake, Jake is, uh, Jake is a real, uh, Jake, Jacob is the spiritual people. But when we hear certain frequencies and certain music, then it makes us, you know, in tune with the frequencies. But uh, I didn't even heard kids bumping rap music and whatnot. And I didn't recognize the song and been like, this, this dude is really listening to this at that age, you know. Carrying on in Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 5, it reads, Those who worship the host of heaven on the housetops, those who worship and swear by and swear oaths by the Lord, but who also swear by Malcolm or the devil. Uh, you could see how he was talking about prayers going out. He's not praying to the most high and his only begotten son, you know, 
And we could see that because in, in the video, if y'all watch that video, he's throwing up uh, uh, hand symbols and whatnot. Those who have turned back from following the Lord and have not sought Yahweh nor inquired of him. Be silent in the presence of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, for the day of Yahweh is at hand. For Yahweh has prepared a sacrifice. He has invited his guests. Now his guests are the, the elect, you know, and that's what we do when we go out there to the highways and the byways. We're bidding you to the marriage of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And it shall be in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. Now the Lord, the Lord's sacrifice is niggas like this. Those who uh, sin willfully, there no longer remains a sacrifice for them. So they become the sacrifice. And the altar is America. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. And all such as clothed with foreign apparel. Now our Lord didn't bring us up like that. Our Lord didn't bring us up as, as, as weird ass niggas like that. In the same day, I will punish all those who leap over the threshold. As our Lord tells us, uh, if a man find any other way into. Those who do not come by the door. John chapter 10 and verse 1. Yahweh Shai, the true shepherd. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Back to Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 9. In the same day, I will punish those who leap over the threshold. Who fill their master's houses with violence and deceit. So our Lord is getting ready to punish niggas like that. Uh all of your uh general or all of your Johannes, all of your uh all of your 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 false prophets and your leaders who in your false leaders, all of your MLKs who mislead the people, but they claim that it's for a good cause. Those are the people that 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 are filled with lies and deceit. All of your pastors, all of your athletes. Hey, and it's going to come in point where there's not going to be no more benefit of the doubt. There's not going to be no benefit of, you know, we don't receive a benefit in doubting the fact that these, that, that people are off. You know, you see somebody by their track, track record. If they continue to do wicked, you're seeing there ain't no doubt in it. They're wicked. Our Lord tells us in the book of 1 John. Chapter 3, 1 John chapter 3. And verse 8, he who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the son of Yahweh was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of Yahweh does not sin, for his seed remains in him and he cannot sin because he has been born of Yahweh. So uh, our Lord tells us he who sins is of the devil. So uh, pretty well. Even at this point, there is no more benefit of the doubt. We're not going to keep doubting and, and, and trying to, you know, see people and, and, and think, oh, OK, well, maybe. No, if, if, if you see it, obviously, and plainly into to your eyes, nine times out of ten, it is what you see. And I'm going to get a couple more. I wanted to find that uh, I abhor the pride of Jacob scripture. Amos 6 and 8. Amos chapter 6 and verse 8. And there's one more. There's 
one more in there as well. Amos 8 and verse 7. Yep, that's the one. Yep, I'm going to get Amos chapter... Man, I'm going to get both of them. Amos chapter 6 and verse 8. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai has sworn by himself. Yahweh, most high power of hosts, says, I abhor the pride of Jacob, meaning he hates it, and hate his palaces. Therefore, I will deliver up the city and all that is in it. Then it shall come to pass that if ten men remain in one house, they shall die. Now, this, this house is referring to wisdom. And when a relative of the dead with one who will burn the bodies picks up the bodies to take them out of the house, he will say to one inside the house, are there any more with you? Then someone will say none. And he will say, hold your tongue, but we dare not mention the name of Yahweh. So it's going to come a point in time when our Lord throws down and punishes the idols of the land that it, he's, he's going to make known, nigga, don't even mention my name, you know, and I don't mean it in a sense of like that, but, but the Lord is going to, basically people are going to know I better not even mention his name because he'll, he'll, he'll F me up. You know, the Lord is going to make known, look, all the things you did in your life. Don't even have my name on the tip of your tongue. It's going to come a point in time where those, those doors of mercy are going to be shut closed. And the Lord is going to make known, look, don't mention my name. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Get ready for, for, for those missiles. You know, get ready for those missiles. That's literally going to be the energy out here when our Lord begins to judge the inhabitants of the earth. And our Lord tells us that those who remained did not repent for. And I try not to. Well, hey, that word nigger goes back to niggar. And, and a niggard is somebody who's stingy. So I try not to use too much slang because in, in today's era, it gives off a, a different meaning. But in the context of, of the scripture and the understanding of the words, we, we understand it by a different definition. But it's going to come a point in time where the Lord is going to make known, look, you, I, I'm preparing you for the second death. Don't mention my name. Don't, don't talk about being godly. Don't talk about praying. And I would not be surprised if something happens to... Uh, I'm, I'm not, I, hey, I'm not going to be surprised if something happens and nobody's going to be able to explain it. Like, it's not going to be no man-made accident. It's going to be completely natural. And for you people out there who follow niggas like that, I suggest you repent now. You know, you people who listen to these artists and think the shit's cool. Look, them niggas got money and they can they could at least, you know, enjoy what they got. You 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 broke and don't got nothing, you know, and, and you looking up to dudes like that. They ain't put a dime in your pocket. They ain't help you out with nothing. They ain't give you breath. They ain't give you food on your table. You know, the Lord does all these things, but yet you still going to reverence niggas like that. You still not going to give Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah his due credit? This is why at a certain point, we're not going to be talking to people. We are not going to be talking to people. And I try not to get too... Uh, Y'all bear with me a second. This is the book of Revelation chapter 9 and verse 18. By these three plagues, a third of mankind was killed by the fire and the smoke and the brimstone which came out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails. For their tails are like serpents having heads and with them they do harm. And the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues 
did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons and idols of gold, silver, brass, stone, and wood, which can neither see nor hear nor walk. And they did not repent of their murderers, of their murders. And they did not repent of their murders. Now, if you're responsible for somebody passing, or if you're in a position to where you can prevent somebody's passing, somebody passing away, then, you know, you could get that blood off of your hands. But if you watch somebody die right in front of you, and, you know, that's one of multiple cases that are happening for your cause, in your presence, people are come to, coming together for a concert to where you're the host. You're the one that's, that's presenting whatever it may be. And you're watching people die at your event. You're responsible for those cases. You're responsible for those people li uh, for those people dying. And they did not repent of their murders or their sorceries. And we can clearly see, if y'all look up that concert, you can clearly see the sorceries involved in it. Or their sexual immorality. Or their thefts. So, uh, you know, all the way up until the point, even when the missiles hit, niggas like that probably ain't going to repent. Amos chapter 6 and verse 11. Amos chapter 6 and verse 11. For behold, Yahweh gives a command. He will break the great house into bits and the little house into pieces. Do horses run on rocks? Does one plow there with oxen? Yet you have turned justice into gal and the fruit of righteousness into wormwood. You who rejoice over Lodabar and say, have we not taken Karnaim for ourselves by our own strength? So uh, these people... And ultimately, that goes. Lo debar is another word for nothing, or an idol, and uh, Karnaim is a, is another word for strength or pride, what they think to be strength, and that goes back to um, Y'all bear with me. I got the water going so y'all don't wonder about the noise in the back. Oh, give me a second. Is this it? But, um, Shalaki, I didn't mean to get off topic right there. But these people have made themselves idols. So they think that there's, you know, they think that they, that they're good. This is the book of Isaiah chapter three. Shalaki, Isaiah chapter two and verse 17. The loftiness of man shall be bowed down and the haughtiness of men shall be brought low. Yahweh alone will be exalted in that day. But the idols he shall utterly abolish. They shall go into the holes of the rocks and into the caves of the earth from the terror of Yahweh and the glory of his majesty. When he arises to shake the earth mightily, 
In that day a man will cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which they made each for himself to worship to the moles and the bats, to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the crags of the rugged rocks from the terror of Yahweh and the glory of his majesty when he arises to shake the earth mightily. Sever yourself from such a man whose breath is in his nostrils. For of what account is he? Now this is why, you know, when the Lord pulled us out of the earth, when the Lord put us, pulled us out of the world, we started to, uh, I had used the word earlier. <clears throat> we started to be repulsed. <clears throat> we started to be repulsed by uh, all of these, all of these artists and all of the things that we used to do. You know, when I used to listen to, listen to rap music, certain artists, but um, once you come into the understanding you, you're kind of repulsed as far as, you know, the nigga that you used to be, as well as the, the nigga that, that that nigga used to look at and listen to. Even if it had just been for, you know, even if you just listen to their music and, and, you know, you may have, it may have been while working out, you know. One thing about when you work out, you listen to more aggressive music or you may listen to more calming music. But uh, regardless of the purpose, once you wake up and come out of that, you start to be repulsed by uh by these different uh facets of the world. I'm looking for one more scripture. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 29. I'll start at verse 28. Jeremiah, chapter 2, and verse 28. It reads, But where are your powers that you have made for yourselves? Let them arise, if they can save you in the time of trouble. For according to the cities, for according to the number of your cities are your powers, O Judah. Why will you plead with me? You are you have you all have transgressed against me, says Yahweh. In vain I have chastened your children. They they receive no correction. Your sword has devoured your prophets like a destroying lion, which is what we've seen take place with ISUPK, IUIC, and a good amount of these other camps. O generation, see the word of Yahweh. I have been a wilderness to Israel. Shalakia, have I been a wilderness to Israel? Have I been a wilderness to Israel or a land of darkness? Why do my people say we are lords? We have, Shalakia, we will come no more to you. So niggas like this really think that they are a, a power, that they are a, a, a leader. And you can see he made the music, man. That encompasses exactly what I had mentioned. It reads, I'm going to get verse 20 or 31 again. O generation, see the word of Yahweh. Have I been a wilderness to Israel or a land of darkness? Why do my people say we are lords? We will come no more to you. Why do my people say we are lords? We will come no more to you. What does that say? Why do my people say we are lords? We will come no more to you. So, hey, we can't wait. We're, 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 hey, we're counting. Every day is a day closer to our, to Yahweh Shai returning, our Lord and Savior. And to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh pouring out his indignation. 
we cannot wait. Can a virgin forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. So we really cannot wait. Hey. So as I said in verse uh, Amos chapter 6 and verse 13, you who rejoice over low Debar or nothing, who say, have we not taken Karnaim for ourselves by our strength, which is another word for pride. It's like a nickname. And then Amos chapter 8 and verse 7. It reads, Yahweh has sworn by the pride of Jacob, surely I will never forget any of you. Uh, Shalakia, surely I will never forget any of their works. I was going to say your, but then I read there, so it came out kind of, you know. Surely I will never forget any of their works. So all the people that passed away because of all these artists, our Lord is keeping all of that into in count. Shall the land not tremble for this? And everyone mourn who dwells in it? All of this, Shalakia, all of it shall swell like the river, heave and subside like... He heave and subside like the river of Egypt. And it shall come to pass on the on that day, says Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, that I will make the sun go down at noon, which is the peak of the day. Our Lord is going to shut everything down. And I will darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your morn I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentations. I will bring sackcloth on every waist and baldness on every head. And that's also a representation of you being able to see uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 10. We're going to be able to see when the Lord judges, when the Lord judges the inhabitants of the earth, you're going to know what people did wrong, you know. And I'm not saying that like, oh, uh, 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 it's, it's going to be, you know, out blatant, but you're going to be a hey, people are going to basically be be taken by what it is.